hours run by a train from Calcutta, Lai Shanti Niketan, the abode of peace, and Vishwabharti, India's cosmopolitan university, founded by Guru Rabindranath Tagore. It is a sanctuary of the heart for its students, for here, far from the maddening strife, nature breaks her presence in every aspect of their life. Trees symbolizing the close union and interdependence of nature and human life. To Gurudev, Vishwabhati is India's invitation to the world, her offer of sacrifice to the highest truth of man. Yesterday, the Prime Minister, Mrs. Gandhi, paid a one-day visit to this abode of peace. Kalat Bhavan was long presided over by Nandalal Bose, who was profound in his mastery of a line and colour and had firm grasp of reality. The art gallery houses a large collection of rare Japanese and Chinese paintings and Mughal and Rajput miniatures. It has on display prized paintings of Gajendra Tagore, Rabindra Tagore, Binod Bihari Mukherjee and Nandalal Bose. Mrs. Gandhi addressed the seminar on 60 years of Vishwabhati and its art heritage masters of our time. As has been said, he also tried to deep, delve deep into our inheritance, cultural inheritance, and of the rural as well as of other aspects. He left a deep imprint on the art of his time and also an influence which will perhaps belong to all time. It is sad indeed that Shanti Niketan, which should have been the home of the collections of those who lived and worked here, has not been able uh, to build up those resources and facilities which are necessary for this. I entirely share the sentiment expressed by the Vice-Chancellor that collections should remain in their place of birth or origin. I think it's entirely wrong to collect everything in the capital city. Of course, they are seen by more people, but it it has a, a special importance and meaning if they stay in different parts of the country and thereby attract people who are really interested to travel and get to know not only these works of art and the personalities behind them, but even different parts of the country and different atmospheres. We have the great privilege in India to live in a country of great diversity. Gurudev tried to gather all these different threads and as you said, to synthesize not only the rural and the urban, but those from all the different regions of India. And of course, there used to be always a number of people from far off lands. Together, all of them made Shantiniketan. And India is, has always tried to, not to keep its roots deep in its past and its traditions, but it has never hesitated to reach out to absorb <coughs> new ideas. In fact, we can say that Gurudev himself was a mixture of East and West. A very good example how the two can mesh together, can link together, 
and yet remain wholly, totally Indian. <laughs> Prime Minister also addressed the staff and students of Vishwabhati. Shantiniketan not only is a place where people can come from different parts of India, all castes, all religions, all languages, all states, but it was something more. Not only that these different people should be integrated as Indians, but also that they should be integrated with nature, with their surroundings. And this is a thought which has been in, in Indian tradition from times immemorial. Shanti Niketan was in the old pattern of the ashrams of ancient India, where the teachers, and the pupils lived together in quiet surroundings and got to know each other as well as the different aspects of nature. Today, this thought and this feeling has been taken up all over the world and there is great concern to conserve or to protect nature, plants as well as animals because people are realizing that all these different aspects of life are so closely interwoven that if any one aspect is hurt, it hurts everybody. We want to preserve trees and animals not just for their beauty or utility, but because it is necessary for the survival of the human race. And this has become a part of the programs of almost all nations of the world. And this is the spirit, if you want to preserve them, you must know them better, you must know the utility, the reasons, and you must have a feeling of friendship for them. We were very fortunate in our freedom struggle and just in being Indians, that our political leaders as well as leaders of intellect and culture like Gurudev Tagore and many other social reformers of Bengal and other parts of India, preached this doctrine of brotherhood, of understanding, of friendship, of cooperation. <laughs> I'm a 
Later, Mrs. Gandhi participated in the O.C. Ganguly Centenary Celebration. Before amplifying for New Delhi, Mrs. Gandhi addressed a huge public meeting at Bolpur. On way to the meeting, she was given a traditional welcome by tribals. They had thronged the venue in large numbers to greet Mrs. Gandhi. थी और दूसरे देशों की भी 
जैसे कीमतें बढ़ती गईं, दाम बढ़ते गए उसका प्रभाव भी पड़ा लेकिन आपने देखा होगा कि यहाँ कीमतें बढ़ने की गति को हमने काफ़ी कम किया है तेईस प्रतिशत से उसको एक साल में हम सात से थोड़ा ऊंचे पे ले आए इतना नीचे हो गया है उसका तुरंत तो मूल्य में प्रभाव नहीं पड़ेगा लेकिन तब भी अब पढ़ना शुरू हो गया है आपने देखा होगा इसी प्रकार से जो हमारा बुनियादी ढांचा था उद्योग बढ़ाने का चाहे कृषि का उद्योग हो चाहे कारखाने का उसको भी हमने जो बहुत कमज़ोर हो गया था उसको भी हमने मजबूत किया अब यहाँ की सरकार हमारे खिलाफ बराबर आंदोलन कर रही जब से हमारी सरकार चुन के दिल्ली में आई तब से सब विरोधी दलों ने मिलके इसी प्रयत्न में है कि कैसे उसको इसी तरह से दुर्बल बनाएं और उसको काम न करने दें इससे काम और तेज़ी से चल नहीं सकता और बजाय इसके के समझने का प्रयत्न करें प्रयास करें कि कितनी बड़ी बड़ी कष्ट और कठिनाई हैं और आजकल देश प्रेम और राष्ट्रीयता की पुकार यही है कि सब लोग मिल के इन समस्याओं का समाधान करें हमने एक ऑर्डिनेंस निकाला जो अब एक कानून बन गया है कि कुछ खास खास जगह हड़ताल न हो पाए लेकिन अभी तक उसका किसी ने उपयोग नहीं किया है उसके अंतर्गत कोई गिरफ्तार नहीं हुआ है और जहां भी run by a train from Calcutta Lai Shanti Niketan the board of peace and Vishwa Bharti India's Cosmopolitan University founded by Guru Rabindranath Tagore it is a sanctuary of the heart for its students for here far from the madding strife nature breaks a presence in every aspect of their life trees symbolizing the close union and interdependence of nature and human life to gurudev vishwabhati is india's invitation to the world her offer of sacrifice to the highest good of man yesterday the prime minister mrs gandhi paid a one day visit to this abode of peace Kalat Bhavan was long presided over by Nandalal Bose who was profound in his mastery of line and color and had firm grasp of reality. The art gallery houses a large collection of rare Japanese and Chinese paintings and Mughal and Rajput miniatures. It has on display prized paintings of Gajendranath Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore, Vinod Bihari Mukherjee and Nandalal Bose. Mrs Gandhi addressed the seminar on 60 years of Vishwa Bharati and its art heritage. Masters of our time, as has been said, he also tried to deep delve deep into our inheritance, cultural inheritance, and of the rural as well as of other aspects. He left. a deep imprint on the art of his time and also an influence which will perhaps belong to all time it is sad indeed that shantiniketan which should have been the home 
of the collections of those who lived and worked here has not been able uh, to build up those resources and facilities uh, which are necessary for this. I entirely share the sentiment expressed by the Vice-Chancellor that collections should remain 